So we're going to discuss about uh, migrating your on-site database to the cloud. This is something you would need to do once you sign up for the cloud service. Let's see what our options are. So migrating Oracle databases 11G to Oracle database, either 11G or 12C. These are different versions of uh, Oracle. Let's see the first. So multiple migration options are available depending on the endianness of your systems. What is endianness? So endianness basically refers to a sequential order in which the bytes are arranged into a larger numerical order to the lower when they are stored in memory or when they are transmitted over a different network. There are two types of endianness. There is a big endian where the values go lower from, so we start with the higher values to the lower. And there is the little Indian format where the bits or the bytes of the components are ordered from the little one to the significant bit. So that's where the name comes in. So this is how the industry developed. In order for us to migrate, so whatever options we are going to choose in this lecture, it depends on what endianness your system is. So read up on that so you'll get an idea what it means. It's basically when this whole computer evolved, this is how the first design was done. So let's move on. So the first option is you can do a data pump conventional export and import. So data pump is a utility provided by Oracle which helps you extract data from databases and move that data as a file to your target database and then import that data back in. So it's a utility provided by Oracle. So this method can be used regardless of whatever the endian format is and the database character set of the on-premise data. So there is no restriction here. You could use this uh, for any format. Next one is data pump transportable table space. This method can be used if the on-premise platform is little endian and the database character set of your on-premise database and the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure da Database are compatible. So here they have to be compatible to use this. Now, the benefit of doing a transportable database tab, table spaces, so instead of extracting, like in the first scenario, extracting all the data out of a database, it uh, requires to go through the logs and, and create a dump file. Here, you are basically lifting the table space where actually the data is stored. You're not extracting anything. You're lifting the table space or the platform where the, the data is stored, and you are just copying that whole file and moving it to your target database, and you are assigning it the right directory structure. And when you are doing that with this type of data pump transportable table space, there is also another file created which actually looks at the metadata of the table space. So it basically just attaches, so you're lifting from one place, copying it, putting it to your target database, and using that metadata to just uh, connect to your target. So the this helps when you've got large amount of data to transfer. So this is the best and fastest way to, to do that. Next is Armen transportable table space with data pump. So it's a combination of both the first two we talked about, but we are adding another utility, which is the Armen, which is a short of recovery manager, which basically helps to recover your, your database. So this method can be used only if the on-premise platform is little endian and the database character set of your on-premise database and the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure database are compatible. Again, here they have to be compatible like the previous uh, option. Armen convert transportable ta table space with data pump. This is another option. This method can be used only if the database character sets of your, so the character set will talk about what it means when when we create 
the database, we get that option to choose a character set. We'll talk about that more when we are going to do the lab. So the character set has to be compatible. So this method is similar to the data pump transport table, table space method with the addition of RMIN, convert, command to enable transport between platforms with different NDNs. So this is where this comes in. This is the only option you could use when you have a different NDNs format. So if you've got a big or little, you would use this option to transfer data. This is kind of the theory about uh, the options which you could use. Then there is the final one, which is a data pump full transport table. Now this method can only use if your source database is the it's 11.2. It's a lower release and the database character set sets of your on-premise database and the database service are compatible. So let's look at them. Uh, we what we are going to do is we are going to do a lab with uh, with actually doing a couple of them and rest i would suggest that you take your time and read through those uh, again as i mentioned in the past we are not dbas but you should know the concept of why someone would use uh, this different forms of migrating databases because that's where you will come in. So in short, if you were a architect for a company and then they require migrating databases, you should be able to go into the details and come up with a plan. But at this stage, you don't need to know the details, but you need to know that this type of options are available and understand the concept. That's very important. So let's uh, get to the lab. Uh, 